Hi guys, welcome to MCQs. We are doing MCQs of SCMP self-paced paper, the chapter that we are doing today, Strategic Revenue Management. This entire subject in a new course has been designed, so therefore you all know each and every element of business. How does business run? What are the problems that come? How to tackle those problems? Okay, and please do ensure that you give the exam of this subject as soon as possible because that is required for you all, so therefore you all can give your final exams, okay? Also do remember that ICEI has increased the content of this subject in the new course that is self-paced paper is actually bigger than whatever was old SCMP. And that paper in any case most of the students had lot of difficulty in passing. That's why ICEI thought let's try to make that as a self-paced paper but to be very honest that is the reason why people are not taking it seriously. So ensure that you do not waste much time in this. You try to do all the things, do everything from module. And that's why I'm doing everything from the module only. Our full course obviously is available of this subject, whereby we give the validity of two years and unlimited view. So absolutely no problem. You all can see the description. You will get all the details. Let's start it off. Let's not waste time. So match the item of list one with that of list two and suggest the correct code. Okay, list one is what? Customary pricing, skimming, penetration pricing, psychological pricing. Okay, list two, explanations. Ending price with 999, with 99. Second, price of a product based upon perceived expectation of the customers. Okay, three, setting a price which gradually reduces as competitors enter the market. Fourth, set a low price for a new product during the initial offering. Now, let's describe what is there in list one. Automatically, we'll be able to get the answer. But four options that are there, you just have to try to match the following. Okay, I'm not reading the four options also. Okay, you all try to be matching. But think of before I leak out the answer with the logic. Always better to pause the video at this stage and try to be thinking what will be the answer. Okay, you all have thought, see, now what do you mean by customary pricing? Now, customary pricing actually means something like this, beta, that uh, customary pricing, uh, suppose for a small example, new iPhone was launched. You check that on Flipkart, it was available, say today for 75,000. You checked it on Amazon, it was available, say for 74. You checked it on Vijay Sales, on Chroma, on Reliance Electronic, that Reliance Digital, that's there. Every store you checked, approximately the price was, say, 74,000 to 76,000, few rupees here and there. So, therefore, in your mind, you will start to develop a perception that the worth of this product is around, say, 74,000 to 75,000. Okay. This 74,000 to 75,000 is called as perceived value. Perceived value is the value that a customer assigns to a product. That might be dependent upon the use of a product. That might be dependent upon, in this case, the status that that product belongs, or it could be one of those things that I told you. Okay, you looked it over here, you looked over here, you looked over here, and you thought this is an app price. This is called as perceived value. One fine day, Apple came out with an offer that today the phone is available for 70,000 rupees. If you have HDFC credit card, you will instantaneously buy because you will start to be thinking the perceived value or the worth of the product is 74,000 to 75. Today it is available at a cheaper price. Let's buy that. So that pricing, that 74,000 to 70, that is called as perceived value, also called as customary pricing. Okay, so therefore that thing is mentioned in point two. So therefore A matches with two. Actually, even if you match A with 2, you will be knowing the correct answer, but then I'm continuing. Skimming policy means what? Skimming means you launch the product at the highest possible price. Your product is good, innovative, no competition till now. So therefore, let's try to launch the product at the highest possible price. And as and when the competition will start to be coming, I will start to be reducing. So therefore, you skim the market, you skim the market, right in the beginning only if you all know like you know uh, your moms forgera like we try to remove the cream okay from the milk that is called as skimming the milk okay so therefore you remove the cream as such okay that's what so try to 
take out the cream cream means highest possible price right in the beginning so skimming b1 i guess matches with point number 3 setting a price which gradually reduces as the competitors enter the market obviously as the competition will start to be coming your product that was unique now might not remain unique always so therefore you'll have to reduce the price c penetrating pricing that's exactly reverse of skimming pricing penetration means I want to enter the market with the aim of capturing market share. I'm not looking at profits, but in beginning, I want everybody to be trying my product. Once they will try, they will get used to it. Might be my product is a repeat buy that customers buy a lot. Then in that case, after some time, I'll start to be increasing the prices. But penetration means penetrate the market. How will you penetrate the market when your prices are going to be less? So therefore, I guess C matches with four over here, setting a low price for a new product during the initial offering. And psychological pricing. Psychological pricing in India actually is also called as bata pricing. Like, you know, when I was small, Bata shoes or Bata chappals were available at 299, 399. It was a psychological thing. 299 is not 300, no? So people used to be thinking 200 plus something, no? Okay, that worked for Bata a lot. In fact, it only worked for Bata to be honest. Okay, that's why the pricing came to be known as a psychological pricing. Okay, so therefore I think that is point number one that is ending with 99. So answer in this case, A matches with 2. B matches with 3, C matches with 4 and D matches with 1. So I guess so answer over here should be C. C is the correct answer. Just one small thing. Uh, penetrating pricing. If you all think penetrating pricing, just to give you an example, when Amul had launched buttermilk in India, they had priced it at 4 rupees. It used to be in a small tetra pack, not the tetra pack that comes now. It was smaller than that also. Now that time they had launched the product at the least possible price that they could. In fact, 4 rupees was not much enough for them to be covering up their transportation cost also. But still they all did it because they wanted everybody to try out that product. They knew that if people will try, it's a repeat buyer to people in India, in Gujarat, in Rajasthan, everybody's uh, habituated to drink uh, buttermilk a lot. And if it is available in a ready-made pack, why not? And that worked wonders for them. But whatever was available at 4 rupees in the beginning, after some time prices had started to increase. But in beginning, they wanted to penetrate and capture the market. That's what those guys did also. Okay, so penetration, price, uh, penetration uh, pricing, that'll be the example. Okay, that's it. I'll see you all in the next MCQ video. Bye.